and welcome to this special series, COVID-19, The New Normal. Joining me today is Mr. D.P. Singh, who's the Executive Director at SBI Mutual Fund, India's leading mutual fund house. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Singh, for joining me in these difficult times. Sir, SIP has been a great success as far as the you know, Indian investor mindset and the mutual fund industry is concerned, but SIP has predominantly been an equity phenomenon. You know, when people say SIP, it means they're investing in equity markets through the SIP route. Uh, do you believe post COVID-19 as more and more people also start considering debt, uh, you know, given the sharp fall that we saw in the market and we don't know when this market is going to divide back to the levels that we've seen pre COVID. Do you believe that SIP and debt could be also the new normal going forward? Absolutely. We are of very, very firm opinion. First, because of the asset allocation, which we keep on advocating, we keep on uh, requesting our uh, investors, our partners, our distributors, that the asset allocation is the key. And uh, uh, see, debt allocation is very, very important. And in that debt allocation, it's very necessary. And, uh, as, a, as a replica of uh, recurring deposit of, uh, of the banks, the, the SIPs in debt funds is a very, very good phenomenon. And we are advocating it in a big way. We have seen, we have already seen some success in this. Some of the distributors have already started pushing SIPs in, in debt funds. But going forward today, if, if uh, the total uh, SIP book in the industry for equity fund is around 8,500 crores, I think if the whole industry uh, put uh, the way behind it and we are able to educate uh, investors and distributors both about the efficacy of uh, SAPs and debt funds, the SIP book for debt funds can be much, much bigger than even the equity book. Today, it's very, very small in a couple of hundreds, but it can be um, a couple of billion dollars. That, that's what I, I, I believe. And uh, we, we, we are pushing very, very hard. We are talking to the distributors and partners. And uh, it's a very strong conviction that going forward, the SIP in, in debt funds is going to be the norm, a new norm. And people will put in different buckets. People will put in money market equity fund. People will put money in, in corporate bond fund kind of uh, fund for the longer period. And some portion may can go into the credit risk fund also, depending on the because the uh, the generally the, the returns on all these funds will be differ by 100 150 basis points. Okay. If we put liquid fund and money market will be one bucket, as we talked about. Second will be the the. Uh, the safer uh, kind of funds, which will be corporate bond funds with a triple rated kind of portfolio. And third will be credit risk fund, where little higher risk will be there, but returns will also be there. So the bundle uh, return will be, again, 100, 150 basis point more than the, 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 the bank deposit rates. Do you see SIP in debt succeeding also because of late we've seen a fair amount of volatility, even in debt instruments? Uh, some schemes. I, 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 I give, yeah, I give you uh, another perspective. Today, the most of the distributors, especially the mid-size and small-size distributor, they have mostly put in money into the equities. They have allocated money to equities alone. They have not sold uh, debt funds. In the year 2019-20, uh, they have uh, got a double double uh, uh, shock. The first show came in the month of uh, April when the TEAs were brought down and the generally the brokerages came down by 10 to 15 percent. So, so their income went down by 10 to 15 percent. But somehow, the market movement in the first three quarters, as well as the uh, the more business, they were able to come back to the same level where they were uh, in the March 2019. Now, 2020 with the market going down by 25 percent. All these distributors have lost income to the tune of 25 percent because they're getting trail income. Now to make up for that, today they will not be able to get back the same kind of money, 25-30 percent more money into equities at this point of time because mindset is different. But if they have to make up their income, they have to get more money into debt funds. That is from the perspective of distributor. But from the investor's point of view, it makes a very, very good sense to allocate money and in a good quality debt fund. 
though the question will be asked that there have been so many credit issues in the recent past how to allocate money but but i tell you the the, the industry always learns from some of the mistakes which they make over the period of time so fund houses in general are, are managing debt funds in a very very conservative uh, way uh, except for the credit risk funds so again i will say the credibility of the fund house the credibility of the fund management team and the 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 overall philosophy has to be seen and this is the responsibility of uh, the distributor as well as of the investor who are Uh, going through the 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 um, pedigree in, in in a much closer way than ever before so that that's going to be the reality it's been a pleasure talking to you mr singh thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, and wish you all the best we live in difficult times uh, and uh, congratulations that your fund house has become number 1 but these are very very difficult times and i wish you all the very best Thank you very much. Stay safe. Stay at home. Thank you very much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.